the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 342, Acts 27 to 28. Paul arrives in Rome as a prisoner. Whilst in Rome, Paul resided in his rented house for two years and preached the gospel, and this became an important channel of spreading the gospel to the whole world. First point. Paul used his Roman citizenship three times. Paul used his Roman citizenship in order to escape from the threats of the Sanhedrin assembly and went to Rome from Caesarea. If Paul had not been a Roman citizen, most likely he would have been stoned like Stephen. As such, Paul used his Roman citizenship at the most crucial moments. Paul used his citizenship three times. The first was after he was slashed in Philippi and then locked in prison, he used it to leave prison. The second was before he was almost slashed by the commander of a thousand in Jerusalem. The third was leading up to the sixth Sanhedrin assembly trial, and he instead requested the trial from the Roman emperor as a Roman citizen. Second point, look who rode the ship from Caesarea to Rome with Paul the prisoner recorded the greatest storm they encountered thoroughly. As a prisoner, Paul took a ship from Caesarea to Rome. Paul was joined by Luke and Aristarchus, and Luke thoroughly recorded this journey. The person in charge of them was the centurion Julius, and the ship arrived in Crete before Rome. When they arrived in Crete, Paul advised to spend some time there due to the growing waves. However, the centurion listened to the captain of the ship, and so set out for Rome straight away. However, as predicted by Paul, the ship quickly faced a vast storm. Third point, the Roman centurion Cornelius listened to the words of Peter, and the Roman centurion Julius listened to the words of Paul. Amidst the frightening storm, Paul gathered the people who were on the ship including Julius the Centurion, and encouraged them with God's words. Also, thanks to Paul's help, they were able to stop the crew from escaping. This time, the Centurion listened to Paul. During the harsh storm, Paul fed the people there and energized them. This was like a holy communion, whereby Paul fed 276 people on the ship and calmed them down. When they vaguely saw some land, the Roman soldiers suggested to Julius to kill the prisoners as they feared that the prisoners might swim and flee. However, Julius did not listen to his men, but rather focused on saving Paul and ordered for those who were able to swim to get off the ship and swim to shore. Paul's team was able to get off the ship and they landed in Malta. The people on that ship ended up staying for three months. And there, Paul taught the gospel and many came to believe in Jesus. First point, many people in Rome read Paul's letter Romans. And so when Paul arrived in Rome, he was welcomed by the people. Paul finally arrived in Rome and was able to meet the members of the Roman church. Many members of the Roman church waited for Paul after reading his letter to them. They traveled some distance in order to greet Paul, and when Paul saw this, he was greatly encouraged. From then on, Paul received the protection of a Roman soldier, whilst waiting for the Roman emperor's trial. Fifth point, the 30 years of Acts records the spreading of the gospel and numerous trials. Although Paul ended up going to Rome as a prisoner, Due to a series of trials from the Sanhedrin assembly, Felix and Festus, he still had hopes to prove his innocence before the Roman emperor. 
and then to build a missionary center in order to travel to Spain. Thus, Acts was recorded by Luke in order to record how the apostles, including Paul, worked ferociously for 30 years in order to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth, as well as to record all five Sanhedrin assembly trials, results from the Jerusalem Council, and also the trial under the Roman governor. Although Paul had to spend his time as a prisoner, he was able to meet people like Onesimus, as well as write letters such as Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon, and to continue his mission of spreading the gospel. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.